We are back today doing another one of my kind of more honest review series, this time focused around meal kit boxes. So I ordered four pretty popular meal kit boxes and opened them, made at least one dish from them, and taste tested them to give you my thoughts. The four brands are HelloFresh, Plated, Every Plate, and Marley Spoon. So let's not waste any time, let's just get into it. The first is HelloFresh. As you'll see, <laughs> I had a couple difficulties with HelloFresh from the start. First off being, kind of like some of my subscription boxes, it made it very hard to cancel. I just wanted to order one box and cancel, and it was trying to be sneaky, trying to find ways to keep me from canceling my subscription. So the meals were on the cheaper side of all these meal kits, they were $10 a meal, except for the fact that those are the basic meals. And the basic meals are things like spaghetti and meatballs, things that you can make for a couple dollars at home. Then they had gourmet meals. That would be another five, six, seven dollar upcharge, making it more like $15 per meal per person. So to be honest, that was more expensive than most of these meal kits if you were to get the more gourmet dishes. And when ordering, it doesn't have a type filter like some of the other boxes where you could filter vegetarian, gluten-free, things like that. They were kind of just all together. So let's go open and taste the box. Okay, the first box is here, the ever so YouTube popular HelloFresh, which after we open this, I will tell you my overall thoughts, but I haven't opened it yet. So let's see what's inside. All right, I'm gonna move this to the ground. I chose lemon and thyme pork, balsamic fig chicken, just a couple things that did didn't contain gluten, a little extra something for you in here. I bet you it's promo code. Oh, for other brands. <laughs> Let's see what's on the inside. The lemon thyme pork, balsamic fig chicken, and down at the bottom is, ooh, the actual chicken, which is no longer frozen. Hopefully it's still safe to eat. <laughs> and a pork cutlet which is also not frozen. Now let's see what's inside of these bags. Inside of the balsamic fig chicken, triple wash spring mix. This just says chicken. <laughs> this jar is cute. Fig jam, small balsamic vinegar, little shallot, and a ton of potatoes. I feel like though people say it's not that wasteful because you use everything that you need, I feel like this is a lot of excess packaging. I'm not even that environmental friendly. That's something I'm working on, but my brain is not hardwired to think about those things. And I even noticed that this is a lot of packaging. This doesn't look like a ton. This technically, all of this together, technically is valued at $20. I see how they're making a profit. Not gonna judge fully yet. Definitely a little judgmental. One thing I guess that's nice is that the ingredients are separated per meal so that way you don't get confused. This is me trying to think of nice things to say about this brand. I'm basically going to just ruin any chance of sponsorship by this brand, I think. I don't wanna be sponsored by brands that I don't Fully love anyways, so that's fine. All right, today we are going to make and taste the HelloFresh box. I'm just gonna let you know how easy it was to make and how it tastes. Interesting little thing that I thought was very ironic. Uh, yesterday when I was unboxing it, I said that I'm giving my honest opinion and that everybody is sponsored by HelloFresh on YouTube and that I'd definitely be ruining a chance of sponsorship with them. Today, guess who I got an email from? HelloFresh, wanting to sponsor me. Of course I said no, because I'm never gonna have a sponsorship with something that I don't love. That's kind of my job. <laughs> At least will be my job as soon as this is full time. I laid out everything. I'm just gonna show you real quick. This is $40 of food. That and that. Potatoes cost, this was like 50 cents. That's like 50 cents a spring mix. You can probably get a chicken breast this size for no more than five dollars. A lemon is 30 cents. This is probably 30 cents. Pork is a little more expensive. This would probably be like eight dollars. Rice is pennies. A zucchini is 50 cents. Herbs are nothing. 30 cents. You know what I'm saying? I just, this does not feel like worth 40 dollars to me. But that being said, I haven't made it or tried it yet. So let's try it. Also, sorry that I'm in a row. Also, I think I'm just gonna make them both and check back in with you. Just to be fair and say something nice, one thing I do appreciate is this left column over here. It tells you what exactly to bust out and it gives you some tips like how to properly pull the time off the sprig if you've never done that before. So informatively, so far, it's not that bad. Very easy to follow instructions. Oh, this is a little concerning. The potatoes were delivered yesterday and they're not in the best shape. Oh no. Final sauce is simmering. I realize I mixed up which protein goes on which, but oh well, it's all kind of the same, isn't it? The kitchen's a little bit of a wreck. 
definitely a little bit sweaty from all of that heat, but I'm going to be trying the pork, which is actually on the salad with the potatoes that the chicken was supposed to be on. Also, I put these in little to-go containers because I'm probably just gonna let Brooke take them to work. Let's try a bite. Me wearing this robe just looks absolutely ridiculous right now, but. <laughs> Getting a bite with a little bit of pork and a little bit of green, and this has the balsamic rosemary and fig dressing on it, I think. Hmm. You know, I never eat pork. I kind of didn't really think of what it tasted like. It's good. I think I mix up the proteins because to me, like rosemary and fig and balsamic sounds like it goes more with pork than with chicken, and that actually works really well together. So, so far, tastes really good. Like I said, I'm not gonna try that chicken just because I'm too afraid of food poisoning. Potatoes also. They're very simple. I can make them myself for 50 cents. So overall, I was not that impressed with the produce. For being the big dog in my eyes, probably top three most well-known and most talked about meal kits, I was pretty let down, especially the fact that influencers that I look up to talk about this box a lot. After comparing the other boxes, I have to say this one was my least favorite. I would honestly rate it a five out of 10. Next is Marley Spoon. Marley Spoon's owned by Martha Stewart, which I didn't even know she had a box. So that's cool to know. One thing that I did really like about the ordering process of Marley Spoon is that you could filter it out by type. So there was low carb, there was gluten free, there was kid friendly, there was healthy. So you could click those buttons and just see the types of dishes within that category, which made ordering really easy. Meals per person per meal range from 10 to $12, depending on how many meals you order per week. So if you order four meals a week, they're $10 a meal. If you only order two orders a week, it's like $12 a meal. But let's open it up and taste it. We have Marley Spoon as our next box. Sorry if the lighting is a little harsh. It is very rainy outside, so I'm under artificial lighting right now. Let's open it up and see what it's like on the inside. So far, this packaging looks a little more environmentally friendly than HelloFresh. Kind of the same concept. This has three recipes in it. I picked a loaded hero sandwich with grilled steak and tomato for Brooke. This is steak and mustard pan sauce with roasted sweet potato and kale. And a vegetarian option, saucy red bean and quinoa bowl with peppers, cheddar, and papitas. This garlic got on the loose. Down here I have the, oh, two beef sirloin steaks. I picked two steak meals without realizing it. <laughs> this is cool. The brand is Land and Sky, and it says born, raised, and harvested in the USA. The instructions got a little damp and ruined, but they look laid out very similar to the HelloFresh with the pictures and even with on the left side it has what you send, what we need, tools, and it has tips. That's funny. It's it's pretty the same. I do like that this vegetarian one only takes 10 minutes. <laughs> look at these cute little baguettes. Arugula, basil. Look at all that kale. Wow. So far I am more impressed with these ingredients. So I'm reading through all of the recipe cards and I can't figure out where this was supposed to go. Whoa, that thunder. Something else I'm confused about. So this recipe says it takes 10 minutes right here, but the first step says cook the quinoa for 15 minutes. So I don't know if the 10 minutes is active time. One thing I do like is that it lists the allergens in the corner. So the only allergen for this one is dairy. Got the quinoa going, grilling some steaks for the hero. Now I am charring some red pepper and starting to grill the bread for the hero. Mmm, this arugula is very fresh. Okay, I've completed two dishes, and it actually did take me about 35 minutes to do both of these. I just want to show you Brooke's sandwiches. Put them in here so that he can keep them for later. There's a good view of that. Look at that grilled bread. And this is the quinoa and black bean papita roasted pepper bowl, which is actually so much food. This looks like three-ish meals to me. So I'm impressed with the quantity of this. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything in this bite. Mmm, in theory it's so simple, but I really like it actually. Overall, I'm pretty dang impressed, and this is pretty healthy. Overall, I liked the dishes. I feel like they were a little bit more on the simple side. I like that there is a vegetarian option, and that was fun. I did eat all of that up, and I like that I could order something a little more casual for Brooke to send in his lunches. Overall, I would give it a 7.8 out of 10. Next up is plated. Plated, the price range is the exact same as Marley Spoon, ranges from 10 to $12 a meal, kind of depending on what you order, how much you order. And also, just like Marley Spoon, you could categorize by type, so I could categorize gluten-free and just see the gluten-free things, which was nice. They also sent me a dessert, and that was a fun change, so let's go ahead and open the box and get into it. Another day, another box. This time it is plated, and I reached out to them, and they were nice enough to send me this box and a promo 
promo code. So that will be down below. It's plated fam, or you can click on the link and I think it's 40% off, which that is very generous. I kind of forgot what I chose. I forgot, I also got brown butter chocolate chip cookies with sea salt for Brooke, and I told him about that, and he's very excited. So perhaps I will make those today. Roasted cod with summer squash risotto, basil and almond, chicken tikka fried rice, which chicken tikka masala is Brooke's favorite thing in the world. So overall, he is very excited about this box. Let's check out the ingredients. This looks like this is all of the chocolate chip cookie ingredients. They even send you parchment paper, dang. Butter, flour, vanilla extract. Okay, I'm kind of impressed. Here are the ingredients for the chicken tikka fried rice. Chicken tikka fried rice, say that three times fast. Chicken tikka, chicken tikka, chicken tikka, chicken tikka, chicken tikka, chicken tikka. Slivered almonds, tiki masala curry paste. Oh, I would drink that if I could. Oh, here's the meats. Dang, that's a lot of cod. I wonder if they accidentally sent me more than necessary because that's like four fillets. That's a lot of chicken too, maybe it is intentional. There's two things of ground chicken in here and some of the bigger veggies like there's the zucchini, the squash, the roasted cod ingredients, there's an onion in there, there's the rice risotto, white wine. I knew bagged wine was popular. <laughs> I didn't know tiny bagged wine was a thing. I feel like so far, I am the most impressed with the quantity of this. The ingredients all look really fresh at first glance, unlike that other experience earlier in this video. Let's make chicken tiki masala and let's make some cookies and see how it goes. So far, the layout of the recipe cards across all three brands thus far are identical. It's hilarious. It's like they all copy and pasted the same format, but it's very helpful format. Same thing, tips here, what you'll need, the ingredients that are given, all the steps with pictures on one side, and then like an overview on the other side. Oh my gosh, this is four servings. I'm not crazy. Dang, well that is very generous. Okay, that's why there's two. <laughs> two things of chicken, that makes sense. So I'm going to start making that. Got my rice cooked, chicken halfway there. Starting to brown some butter for those cookies. Veggies chopped, things are going well. Okay, I didn't know this till now, but nothing smells better than brown butter. I wish I could eat these cookies. So here is the finished product of the chicken tikka fried rice. The cookies are in the oven. I will definitely obviously show you the cookies as soon as they're done but I figured let's do the taste test in the meantime. The quantity of this blows my mind. It's supposed to feed four, but I feel like realistically it could feed six. So value is better than I was initially expecting. Cheers. Mmm. The flavor is really good. I'm sweaty. <laughs> the addition of the almonds is nice to this. I wouldn't normally think to put almonds in this. My only complaint is I wish it was a bit saucier. It's just a bit dry. Perhaps that was my fault. Maybe I overcooked the rice. The rice feels good as far as how cooked it is, but I do love anything with curry paste in it. So all in all, I like this. And last but not least, here's what the brown butter cookies look like. Oh my gosh. They smell so good. Brown butter makes a regular cookie smell like a magic cookie. And it makes me really sad that I can't eat this, but I will let you know what Brooke thinks of it. Overall, I did like making these things. I thought it was very fun. As far as flavor goes, Brooke said the cookies were like the best cookies he's had in his life. So those were a hit. For me, the chicken tikka fried rice was a little dry, but it was pretty easy to make and it was a well-rounded healthy meal. You had your protein, you had your complex carbs, and you had your veggies. Overall, I like it. Pricing seems to be right on average with other boxes, so I would give it, I would give it an eight out of 10. Last but not least is every plate. Every plate, in my opinion, is kind of like the lower tier out of all these boxes. They're not as gourmet, per se, as Marley Spoon and Plated and even HelloFresh. Because of that, though, it is significantly cheaper. There is a delivery fee, however, which the others do not have a delivery fee. There's a $9 delivery fee, which is kind of expensive. But dishes are only about $5 a meal a person. So that is significantly cheaper, about half of the other boxes. The allergens are listed under each meal but you do have to click on each meal to see the allergens. You can't categorize anything. So ordering was a little bit more complicated, but all in all, nothing to write home about. So let's go ahead and open the box. All right, and we have our final meal kit that was just delivered. This box is smaller than the other boxes, which I kind of like, because the other boxes were very hard to throw away. <laughs> and I used a half off code. If y'all want to use it as well, it's not my code, but I just found it online. It's save 50 for half off your first week. At first glance, the first thing that I am nervous about, I don't remember what I ordered. I don't remember if I ordered any poultry. Y'all know that I get a little iffy about poultry safety, but there is a sticker that says Tuesday. Today is Thursday, which means it might have been 
in transport for two days. Hopefully it's very well insulated, but let's take a look inside. So at first glance, there is a little welcome brochure. Oh yes, forgot. So I got honey glazed chicken on chipotle mashed sweet potatoes with zucchini, sausage and roasted pepper risotto, and a pork carnitas bowl with a pepper jack, pickled jalapeno, and southwest crema. That actually sounds pretty good. Their insulation, I know it's hard to tell on camera, is like housing insulation. That's very interesting to me. All right, everything is a little cold. This is unlabeled. It looks like probably the pork carnitas bowl. Take a look inside. The produce is not divided per recipe. It actually looks like none of this is divided per recipe, which is totally fine. Makes it a little bit more confusing, but does save packaging if we're talking about environmental friendliness here. The produce looks pretty good. Dang, that is a, is that a jalapeno? Underneath the block of ice is the meat. The meat does still feel very cold. So I do feel pretty safe. Ground pork, sausage, and chicken. For being the cheapest, minus the delivery fee, so far I am somewhat impressed. Let's go ahead and cook up at least one of the dishes and see what we think. This is the first one that the meal cards are laid out differently. They have a different format, which I appreciate the originality. So the front has the picture of the meal. It divides prep time versus ready in. So it takes 10 minutes to prep, but it's ready in 30. Shows what we send, what to keep refrigerated, which is very helpful to know, like keep these things refrigerated and the rest can be out at room temperature. What you'll need. And then the back has the pictures with the instructions and then a chef's tip at the top. So I think today I will make the chicken so that it won't go bad. And then I can save these to make for Brooke or lunch lunch next week. Side note, this makes more sense. I found the jalapeno. That means this is just a regular chili pepper and I was very confused for a second. Starting to boil the potatoes, minus the boil. <laughs> and brown some zucchini. All right, now the potatoes are boiling. I've pulled off the brown zucchini and the chicken is going. Looks like these dishes are a little bit more simplistic, which is less impressive, but honestly, I kind of appreciate because I feel like the other ones were trying so hard to be fancy that it made the steps a little, a little too much. And I'm gonna drizzle the sauce. Always sweaty after I cook. It gets very hot in this little kitchen. But you saw the final product. Pretty simple meal. I might have done a disservice to the presentation because I chose to leave the potato skins on the potato. I know it sounds gross to mashed potatoes, but that's the most nutritious part of a potato. So as someone with a nutrition degree, I could not help it. I will try a bite. The zucchini. It's kind of hard to mess up a zucchini. It's very good. The chipotle mashed sweet potatoes. Mmm. I love that, I'm gonna have another bite. I love when people mix savory into something that's naturally a little bit more sweet, like tahini on mango or chili on sweet potato. Last but not least, a bite of our chicken and that sauce. Mmm, wow, that is really flavorful. I think this wins the award for the most flavorful dish. Let's go final review this. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. So the ingredients were a little more basic. They're a bit more like pantry staples, but you have to keep in mind you're paying half the price of the other meal kits. As far as flavor goes, I was the most impressed by this box out of all the boxes. It was a very flavorful dish, very well seasoned. Looking at it, might not be as gourmet as the others, might not be as inventive as the others, but honestly, that's the type of thing I realistically eat in a week. It also was the quickest to prepare. It realistically only took me about 20 minutes, whereas the others took me about 40 minutes. So all in all, I think that this is the one I would most likely reorder in the future. I would give this one a nine out of 10. I do appreciate that it's the cheapest and the most flavorful. If I was having friends over to impress them, I would maybe order Marley Spoon or Plated. Well, this was a very fun video. Honestly, it was kind of a lot to figure out between all the different shots, all the different things I had to do, the fact that boxes were delivered on different days and I had to open them right then and there and film it and cook it before things went bad. But all in all, I had a lot of fun and I appreciated getting to get out of the norm with eating. I usually am on a very same schedule with grocery store and meal prep and everything like that. Overall thoughts, I don't necessarily consider myself a meal kit person. I'm someone that loves to cook, I love to be inventive, and I don't necessarily like to follow recipes. So perhaps I'm not the best personality to be reviewing these. I don't mind going to the store. But if I was a person that wanted to sharpen my cooking skills without having to put a lot of thought into it, this would be great. But I loved getting to play around with them and review them because I've always been really curious about them. So if you want more review videos, let me know in the comments below and give me a topic because I think these are really fun. I am working on another one. 
currently. I love y'all so much. Please don't forget to press subscribe because I love hanging out with you. And I will see you in another video very soon. Have the best day ever. Bye.